Hello, I'm Fede, and on this video we'll analyze mycogel effect in post-harvest prison seedless grapes against the untreated fruit, as you can see behind me. The trial began in a farm in Totana, Murcia, here in Spain. After harvest, we place a cluster of treated grapes with mycogel that can be seen on the left side of the screen against an untreated bunch on the right side of the screen. We will observe its behaviors over time. We put the grapes at room temperature for 13 days to see it ripening. As we can see on this video, the untreated bunch begin to dehydrate from the 8th day. However, the bunch treated with Mycohel doesn't change until the 11th day. This damage shows us that the fruit isn't marketable, resulting in a great loss for the grower. Looking at these pictures, we see that the bunch treated with Mycogel presents a maximum durability of the fruit. The product extends the shelf life for 5 more days versus the untreated sample. However, on the untreated bunch, we see how the fruit quickly dehydrates, loses its consistency and the shelf life decreases, so it cannot be exported. So, as you can see comparing these pictures, the fruit treated with Mycogel has a better hardness, being suitable for consumption. Apart from leaving the grapes under room temperature, we selected one bunch treated with mycogel and an untreated one. We put them into a conservation chamber at 8 degrees Celsius, which is 46 degrees Fahrenheit, for 21 days to analyze the fruit behavior under cold conditions. Take off the bunches from the cold chamber. Comparing both bunches, the one treated with Mycogel has an excellent appearance. The grapes are turgid, the berries are firm, and it doesn't have rot. On the contrary, the untreated bunch has rot and softening symptoms caused by water loss. As we can see, after 21 days, the untreated one have a dry wear cheese, while the treated pea with Mycogel is still green. As we have just seen, the bunch tree with mycogel has a higher shelf life versus the untreated sample. 